Hey, welcome to another show. Today in the show, we are going to be talking about double digit addition with regrouping. All right, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Take a look at this. This is double digit addition. That means that there are two numbers here and two numbers here. And we are going to be adding that together and doing a little bit of regrouping. All right, before we start that, there are some rules that I want to go over. Our first rule is add the ones, okay? This is the ones place right here, and this is the tens place. Now, when you're looking at a, a problem like this, it gets a little overwhelming. So what I like to do is get a piece of paper right here, and I'll cover this up because we are going to be adding the ones first, okay? So let's go ahead and add the ones up. Four plus two, I like to add the biggest number first. So four plus two is six, okay? Now, I don't need to regroup. Our second rule is regroup if needed, and that means if your number is gonna be like 10 or above, all right, like a two digit number. This is not a two digit number, it's a one digit number, and so I go right to my third step, and that is add the tens. And if you want to, if all those numbers are a little confusing to you at first, just cover them up and go ahead and add the tens. Two plus one is three, all right? So we have 12 plus 24 equals 36. All right, let's do another problem. Okay, we got our next problem right now. It is 36 plus 27, all right? So once again, if this gets a little confusing, you can cover this up. Our first rule, add the ones. Six plus seven, all right, if you want to, you can put little dots right here. Try to add the biggest number first. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write the 13 like this. One, three, okay? I need to carry. My next step is to regroup if needed and I need to regroup. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna bring it all the way up here, okay? And I'm gonna put it in my 10 spot. Now sometimes you might see a problem like this with a box right there. And so you put that 10 right there, right here. Put that one right there, okay? Let me fix this number up. I kind of erased it a little bit. So now our next step is to add the tens. So let's go ahead and do that. We have three, four, five, six, all right? Tighten that up there a little bit. Now, sometimes when we're first beginning to learn how to do double digit addition, we forget about adding that number up there in the box, okay? That box right here represents a placeholder. So later on, you won't have to have a box like that, but for a couple problems, we'll use that box, okay? So let's go ahead and we add it up, three, four, five, six, so our answer is 36 plus 27 is 63. All right, let's do another problem, yeah. All right, we got our next problem. Now, remember, when you see a box above here, you don't always need to put a number in there. So sometimes I gotta try to trick you, okay? But you don't always need to put a number in there. For instance, if I added two plus three, it's not gonna be a double digit number. Two plus three would be five, all right? So I wouldn't have to put anything in there. But let's go ahead and do this problem right now. Eight plus eight, that's a double fact. Eight plus eight is 16. And now what I want you to do is, remember, we don't write 16 like this. We need to carry that one. That's like me taking that 10 right here, and putting that right here, okay? So what I like to do is when I write this, let me erase this again. What I like to do is I like to write 16 like this. Eight plus eight is 16, okay? I'm making a habit. So try to do that all the time. Eight plus eight is 16, write one, six, like that. All right, we regrouped. Now our next step is to add the tens. So we can go two, three, four. All right, 28 plus 18 equals 46. Hey, you're doing awesome. Let's do another one, yeah. Okay, we got another double digit number. Let's do it. All right, four plus three, what is it? That's right, seven, seven sent from heaven. Okay, we put seven right here. Hey, I didn't need to put a number in this box at all, no. So I did not have to regroup. 
So just go ahead and add the tens. Two plus one is three. 24 plus 13 equals 37. Yeah, let's do another one, yeah. All right, we got this one. You'll notice I did not put a box up here. So I'm gonna try it without the box. If you want one, you could always draw one on your paper, but I'm trying to steer you away from using that box and we're gonna go right into the problem. All right, what's the first thing we do? Yeah, we add the ones, eight plus five. If you want to, you can add a couple dots here to represent five. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? I write 13 like this, the one and the three. 13, okay? Now, what do I do? I regrouped already, now I'm gonna add the tens. Let's add the tens. One, two, three, four. Just like that, 18 plus 25 equals 43. Hey, you did it. You guys are becoming a pro out there. Hey, I got some other videos on how to add like two digits plus another one digit number. And I also have another uh, video that goes more in length and depth on two digit numbers, but that's on my channel. And my channel is full of cool educational videos and drawing videos. So you gotta check that out. And when you're there, please like and subscribe. I would love to hear that. I'd love to see that. So, and I would love to see you have fun with your math. I hope you're having a great day and get out there and exercise a little bit. So like always, I hope you're having a fun day and we'll talk to you later. Adios, bye-bye.